why uh, could the Indian National Army led by Subhash Chandra Bose not achieve its objective militarily? What were the major problems in that? So there are a couple of things. Uh, an army marches on its stomach. It's a very common and very old cliche, but it's very much true. An army needs logistical supply chains in order to succeed. You need ammunition. We can't be short of ammunition, otherwise what will you fire? And you need food, you need water, you need supply chains. Logistics is what sustains a fighting force. Now, Subhash Chandra Bose did not have access to a great deal of wealth. He did not have access to funding. He was supplied by the Japanese, ammunition and food and all that. And he was fighting basically a a guerrilla war in the jungles of, of Myanmar, of Burma, right? So it was an ill-equipped army. It was short on funds. It was short on food. It was short on all kinds of supplies. The only thing is they had courage and they had blood. So that was what, what kept them fighting. So these are the reasons why uh, Subhash Bose and the INA could not achieve their objective militarily. They were up against the, the entire allied force, right? The British, the Indian army the Americans, etc. This was a very professional uh, armed uh, fighting force, right? Very well supplied. There was no shortage of funds or food or ammunition or water or anything that that you need, right? And there was no shortage of troops as well. And the INA had limited troops, which were all taken out of the uh, Japanese POWs, prisoners of war, that they had taken from the British Indian Army. So that's why this army could not achieve its objectives. It was always up against it. It was against. It was fighting against incredible odds. It was basically a suicide mission, and they did it for the love of their country. And see how they were how they were treated after independence, right? <laughs> so that's India for you, my friends. That is the Nehruvian regime for you. They disliked anybody who fought the British using violent means. So in brief, that's why the, uh, the INA and uh, the great Subhash Chandra Bose could not achieve their objectives militarily. They unfortunately, by an accident of history, had to pick, had to go on the wrong side, the side that ended up losing, because the logic was that my enemy's enemy is my friend. So the Japanese and the Germans were fighting the British. At the time, no one knew what the Japanese and the British were doing. Uh, the, the Japanese and the Germans, the Nazis were doing, no one knew at the time. It was only after the war ended that people came to know what the Japanese, what the, what the Nazis were up to and even what the Japanese had done in various parts of China. So Subhash Bose basically was a pragmatist. All he, all he sought was to liberate his country by any means necessary. And that is the right approach. Unfortunately, he ended up on the side that lost the war and he was basically very short of every supply you can imagine. He was short of troops and short of everything else, logistics. And that's why he could not succeed and the INA could not succeed.